I've been meaning to watch Gremlins for a while now. Like I said in my Goonies review, I saw the first 40 minutes of Gremlins and then I turned it off because I, I just didn't get it. I, I was like, this is what everybody loves. I turned it off once I started the turn because I'm just like, I don't care. I watched the whole movie today. I, 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 I saw the whole Gremlins movie today. And Gremlins is... Eh, is it a Christmas movie? I'm going to say no. It's a movie that takes place around the Christmas season. It's a Christmas season. What Cinema Sickness calls a non-Christmas Christmas movie. It's a movie that takes place around the holiday, but it's not like, oh, Christmas. This screams Christmas to me. It has some Christmas music in there, yes. The the kid does get Gizmo as, as a Christmas gift. So, I mean, could it be considered a Christmas movie? I'm going to say no. If you think it is, comment down below. Is Gremlins a Christmas movie? And what do you think about it? The effects are really good for what the times were, but I didn't think it all. I, I don't. I don't think it was all that funny. I I thought that it it was more goofy than anything. I loved Gizmo though. Gizmo was adorable and cute, and you had Phoebe Cates who was actually trying here. Phoebe Cates in the sequel, which we we are not going to talk talk about the sequel right now, but. Everybody was just good in this movie. The problem was it jumped around a little bit. And I liked that that it jumped around, but it jumped around way too much. It went from the the beginning of the movie, hey look, the dad is coming back from a trip. He gets his son a Mogwai, who who is named Gizmo, who soon becomes named Gim gizmo and the three rules no direct sunlight they don't like light you can't get them wet and don't feed them after midnight they don't tell you what happens if any of those things happen here's the main problem with the movie i just didn't care I couldn't get into it. I liked the first 30 minutes the best. When it's a nice family movie, and I think if you could have done something different with this movie, you could have. Now, I am not going to discredit this movie for what it did for film, because this movie and Indiana Jones, The Temple of Doom, gave us a PG-13. It is because of Gremlins, and the gory elements to it that gave us the PG-13 that we know today. And in actuality, uh, was every movie in here produced by Kathleen Kennedy? Yeah, yeah. Every single movie in this pack was executive produced by Kathleen Kennedy, the, the head of Lucasfilm right now. So... I, I was just looking back here, and I'm like, oh, yeah, it was, wasn't it? That's cool. Jo Joe Dante did something that was unthinkable. Gave us a reason to have a more mature rating that was not too kiddy, but was not quite extreme enough to get a R movie. The movie is fine. Will I ever watch it again? Probably not, but I, well, that's a lie. I will watch this around the Christmas season. I will watch this around Christmas time to see if I like it more in a Christmas feel, if I like it during the month of December, because maybe I should just wa watch this in December because it might be a Christmas movie then. Maybe I might think it's a Christmas movie when it is the Christmas season. I don't know. But as of right now, I am giving Gremlins a C. It's a fine movie. It's just one that I've been meaning to get to for a while and finish for a freaking while now.
But let's get into Gremlins 2.